All right, so what's going on with this game? Well, uh, a little bit later on, and um, we're facing another infinity, but this time it is Conjure Infinity, and we're going to get outvalued to death. Okay. You have some pretty value -y cards in your hand here. Yeah, I, th this Beta Caratina deck is a little funky. I didn't use it that much in the tournament, but I really like it. It's uh, mainly a stay alive until you can play Shooting Starfruit on top of a uh, pumpkin shell and let that carry you to victory deck. Seems good. Yeah. Hmm. Turn one con man. The eternal dilemma. Not running primal potato mines, so this is my only way to deal with it right now. And this is just to block damage. You know, it, if I'm against con man, I'm always going to play it defensively rather than trying to outrace them. Right. Hot dates could draw. Yeah, I'm a mm. fan. But uh, that is a little bit troublesome. That is annoying. Yeah, and what I do here is I decide that I don't want Dr. Spacetime to be on a ground lane because of the good environments Infinity has. Namely That's a very good uh, point. Laser base and uh, overshoot one. So I play my little 2-2 uh, two -two move a guy to move that over to the height lane and block it. And then I play the uh, photosynthesizer to keep my, uh, my cactus alive. I agree with both of these plays. Yeah, and you know, drawing the card, that is worth taking the one damage you surly on. And this this deck has uh, some healing in it, so I'm not worried about damaging myself too much, providing I can draw pop and poppies later on. But I'm able to kill the con man and keep my cactus alive. But yeah, plus you got a pear cub, which is good cactus biz. So what yeah. are you thinking about now? Well, right now I'm worried about Bungie Plumber hitting the cactus and killing my little carrot guy, so space time could hit for free. So mm -hmm. what I decide to do here is a little weird, but I play the pair in advance as a bit of insurance to keep right. my opponent from playing Bungie Plumber, because that is, that is the move I'm expecting. And I'm worried with the hot date, I'm worried about a smoke bomb moving the Dr. Spacetime to a different lane. Right. But smoke the, bomb is a, good, is a good play here regardless. You know what else is a good play here? Unexpected Oops. gifts to draw them three cards that all get Ew. discounted by one. Yeah. Icky. Yeah, that is that is the dream for Contra Infinity is space time into unexpected gifts, and now I am uh, shaking in my boots about what kind of awesome cards my opponent just got, and wondering why they're thinking so much with zero brains unless they got a secret agent. Yeah, I guess that's the only thing they could get, and they did. Now I gotta worry about that 4 8. Yeah, that's really annoying. But I get to do some damage, so that's nice. Yeah, and I mean, I guess if you knew that was gonna happen, then, then like, proactively deploying a Triceratops uh, would have been better, but that was. I think you made a. The, the scenario you played around was much more common, so that was a good idea. Yeah, I was not thinking about unexpected gifts at all. I was definitely thinking about Bungie Plumber killing multiple of my stuff. Another command. And then there's the 4-8 Doctor's FaceTime, but I have a really good card for killing that in Guacodile. Yeah. That's right, good old... good old Guacodile. And now I'm starting to regret playing the photosynthesizer a little bit, because that pear cub is still a pear cub, it hasn't been popped yet. Yeah. I don't know, I think, but... Uh, had the had you not played the photosynthesizer, the cactus would have gone off before you had a chance to play the cub. Um, so I think that was correct. Fair point. Especially with a, with a cub in your hand, then you know that you have a um, have a very good cactus play later. Yeah. Now we wait for what? Oh, that's weird. Well, it. It's good to know what superpower your opponent gets and trying to figure that out as quickly as possible because it tells you uh, three cards that your opponent doesn't have in their hand. Right. I mean, that Dr. Spacetime was just like... You got, like, so much tempo loss from them. Um, from them, like, play it, deploy it, play it, and then you kill it with one card. Um, that was pretty boss. Yeah, and then there's a Tanklosaurus that 
I really don't have a good way to kill. Like, a, a 2-6 is really... That's an uncomfortable stat line for this kind of deck. Like, I'm not running Shrinking Violet or anything like that. So my right. ways of killing that involve throwing multiple bodies at it, probably. And so I decide to fill up my board with as many creatures as possible to uh, dilute the chance of it killing something important. Although I guess no. I could have... Uh, kept fewer creatures on there to make it more likely that it hits the cactus or the pear cub. Yeah, there's arguments for both things. Yeah, and they make it deadly Certainly, right away to make my yes. life terrible. Yeah, putting a barrel of barrels on it right away is really kind of gross. Pear cub pops the block meter. Yeah, okay, n now the pear cub gets popped after it attacks. Good job. But the quick draw con man is dead, so that's something. And we got the tankless source down to three health, so I can... Hopefully kill it with a hot date. But I'm still real worried about any number of stuff that draws cards killing my my grizzly pair. Yeah, this is not a like this dude's deck seems to match up pretty well with um shooting starfruit. Yeah, you I know, we've seen I, like infinite things that, that ruin shooting starfruit's day. Yeah, I'm terrified to play that starfruit because I'm worried about uh, any number of Things that will draw a card or do two damage that this guy has at his disposal. Ooh, hello. Yeah, hey, it's Trick or Treater, because why not? And now I'm in That's a... That's really damn good with Tankalosaurus. Big Jeez. dilemma of, okay, do I kill the Tankalosaurus or do I kill the Trick or Treater? Because, like, I can really only kill one of them with the hot date this turn, and they're both going to destroy yeah. me the longer they're alive. So I decide to go with the Tankalosaurus. I think that's correct. And then I play Lily for reasons I forget. I think to set up a Starfruit being a 4-4 four, four next turn. Yeah, that's, but I'm also that's reasonable. But I'm also banking on them not having, like, say, a Bungie Plumber. Or, oh, hey, there's the Summon 2-1 two, two Superpower again. Yeah, they've kind of got it all. I feel like I and ran Then they conjure, and then they trigger, and then... All right, well, that's at least the best possible thing for it to hit. Yeah, that was a little silver lining. But uh, we're, we're in a lot of trouble here. We just lost our free event card, and... We got our, our pear cub is uh, unable to do any damage here. And we have the pumpkin shell starfruit combo, but one sun too few to play both of them. Yeah. All right. And now here's where I make a misplay based on just my finger slipping. Uh-oh. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about what's in that grave, and I have the blockbuster, so I, I want to kill it because, you know, in this kind of deck, I don't know how many gravestones my opponent's even going to be running. But I'm also thinking about, okay, do I want to save the pumpkin shell for starfruit next turn? Because that might be enough to get me a win right there. And right. I, I accidentally evolved the pear cub, which is not the thing I wanted to do. But it does kill the abracadaver, and that was important. So, oh, were you oh, were you just trying to... What were you trying to do? If I not evolve know. the pear I, cub? I was deciding. I was just kind of... Like, I will often just move it around and think about the play while I'm doing oh, it. Oh, okay. So you, you like... You were considering that, but hadn't settled on it. Yes, and uh, now I'm going to uh, make a really risky and unwise play. Um, I think I'm trying to coax out a healthy treat, but they got the uh, plus three attack off of the Quasar Wizard, so it's able to trade with me. Yeah, I mean, I think that that is a, like... So you're definitely behind, and, and conserving your life total is something that's totally worth doing um and that was risky especially having seen multiple barrel of barrels but um i i don't fault you for doing that yeah and i, I was really trying to get that set up to to go for this turn although i guess i could have let it live and hit me but that would have done a lot of damage that would have been five damage right there yeah and now here i'm just desperately trying to stay alive like, you know, the Starfruit's going to be able to kill a couple of these things, I hope. But then I remember, oh yeah, there's a bunch of uh, healthy and sugary treats in their hand to help yeah. keep their two health stuff alive. And now I'm just sweating bullets and hoping for some kind of superpower luck to help me pull through this or some sort of misplay or a disconnect or any number of things. But, uh... But they play this very smartly, and they buff the two things that are unblocked so that one of them will hit off the block meter and one of them will do enough damage to kill me. So, yeah. good play by them. 
and we don't get the superpower that saves me, we get one of the two that kills me, which, you know, unfortunate. Bad beats. Yeah, if I had gotten the 2-1 team up, I would have lived this round, but I would have been doomed anyways, because look at my hand. Yeah. Darn. Can't win them all. 